Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. This is a uh, busy couple of weeks for me, unfortunately. I was out of town last weekend and will be again this weekend. And so I'm just bringing you a replay today uh, from uh, last week. Had some fun flighting up with Nova Tempest from Order of the White Silk Scarf. And uh, he was working on uh, ground pounding out some things for the marathon and I offered to fly some top cover for him. And uh, I've not done a whole lot of tier 10 on the channel, so I thought this might be a good chance to you know, do it, and this is a good place to start at. Uh, if you are looking for your first tier 10, you can't go wrong with this guy. Um, extremely maneuverable, powerful cannons, very good speed and, and energy retention, excellent altitude, um, just a solid, solid plane overall, and you'll see some of the crazy things we can do with it uh, as we're going through here, um, and uh, some of the ways in which it can turn, especially with a roll rate. Uh, so we're going to try and clear out this airfield, having immediately taken the garrison. And he, of course, is headed to the mining plant. We're going to divide and conquer on this. We are up against uh, Lampix, who is on a specialized XF-90. That could be an issue if he decides to come tangle. Um, he is also a part of uh, Nova's clan, and so uh, this is a kind of friendly rivalry match in that sense. And then Sansu, also in a ground pounder. So, you know, from an aircraft perspective, relatively even match. Um, nobody's got uh, superpowers that the other one doesn't. Um, and immediately, San and Nova end up crashing into each other in the mining plant, which uh, results ultimately in them capturing the mining plant. So kind of a humorous start and um, you know, kind of the joy of uh, four veteran players who've been in the game for a while playing with each other. I'm just going to do a little vertical spin. The uh, bots don't handle vertical very well, and you just saw that there. Um, he pulled off as soon as I went vertical, and I pulled onto a six. So. Just an, another reminder, if you're having trouble with bots being on you, that's a good way to kind of buy yourself some time um, is to handle that. So I see Lamp over there. I'm tempted to go pick him. And so I turn to get on his six, but realize, you know, there's probably no way I'm catching him. And then our F-94 uh, hits him. I don't know if that was a rocket shot or uh, if that was uh, the Gatling gun, but he drops right there. So for now, I, I could head over. There's nothing really for me to do at the mining plant. The best thing I can do is uh, keep this place locked down. And you see Sansu coming in there. Uh, but I'm going to ignore him for the time being and clear out the F-84F. Uh, I can always come back to him. And for the most part, he's going to do his damage and ground targets. And so when I destroy the bot aircraft, uh, the ground targets that he has been pounding down here, those capture points essentially get erased. And so it extends the timer on our ability to stay here and uh, there reduces their ability to cap and switch the zone so and then i'm just going to dive in nice and low and finish him off fortunately i didn't get bomb trapped i thought he had already used his bombs on the first pass and you might notice as i'm playing this plane i'm doing kind of long sweeping passes where i can um, it's kind of harder on the airfield but um, you know where i can i come out of the airfield a little bit build up some speed and some altitude and then I loop back down on people and, and just make a diving run through the area. And for the same reason, I just wanna, wanna keep those capture points up and make sure we're in good shape. Um, and that time, I think Lamp was headed after Nova and ended up uh, overshooting and crashing. So, um, doing a little lawn dart action. Uh, who has not lawn darted at some point? We've all done the lawn dart, so no shame, Lamp. We, we've all been there, buddy. Uh, it's <laughs> I was talking to somebody in game last week, I don't remember who it was, and um, they were talking about, you know, learning rudder controls and, and trying to get a handle on all that. And, you know, for me, even sometimes I, you know, you fat finger things, your brain gets a little confused. I'm going to spread on, I'm going to keep going here rather than dealing with the tail gunner and uh, push on to the F-84 again. But uh, my brain got confused. I ruddered the wrong direction and in immediately pointed my nose at the ground. And that was that, right? I died. And uh, so I was like, okay. Come on, buddy, you're better than this, right? But we all have those moments, and, um, and they're part of part of the fun if you can laugh them off, right? So I see Sansu is coming back into the zone, but again, I want to finish this hunter, uh, clear him out, and then I'll go do with San, deal with San. Uh, in the meantime, the F-94 has come in, and he's working on one of our air defense aircraft, so I'm going to try and uh, pull him off. You heard the crit sound right there, but I didn't get a crit that I saw, but then all of a sudden two crits popped up, so I think it was a little server delay. And uh, that's sometimes the case when you're working with uh, these, you know, the server sometimes gets a little off. Client servers don't talk to each other necessarily in the same way. 
um, in a good way, I guess I should say. You see that little tuck and roll I did right there? That's part of the incredible agility of the 1101 here and one of the reasons why it's a fan favorite along with those uh, four 20 millimeters. These 20 millimeters, by the way, are as close to a Gatling gun as you can get. They're called revolver guns. And so if you think of a six shooter in the Old West and think of your favorite uh, gunfighter fanning, right? Uh, just putting his hand on the cylinder and spinning it. Uh, and uh, that's kind of what's happening, right? It's you're, you're shooting. Uh, there's a, a cylinder in there that's firing shots at just one barrel. So it's, uh, whereas a Gatling gun will have six barrels, you know, six cylinders. This has got one barrel and six cylinders, right? So that's one of the reasons it overheats quickly, and it did in real life as well. But it also puts out an incredible rate of fire. Not quite as much as those uh, Gatling guns do. Um, but uh, nonetheless, um, you know, still, still pretty close. So um, this was a, a fun little uh, experiment here. Um, it was a great match for me, obviously. Anytime you can sit over the airfield, you do a lot of damage. Uh, 17 kills, um, some capture points on the offensive there, and then also eight kills while defending. And uh, that allowed me to get Conqueror and Marseille and Akamatsu and Wing Legend and all these others over here. Uh, and then, of course, we got Raptor Duo for being uh, capture, uh, 500 capture points and 15 aerial targets. So there's some fun uh, little medals in here for when you're flighting up, uh, which is always kind of uh, a fun and worthwhile thing. So um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we're going to do some more Tier 10s. My plan right now for my account, just to fill you guys in, is that I'm trying to finish out these lines that I haven't done yet um, and get them to 10. And then we're going to start working on some of the Tier 10s, either the specialization process or just learning those aircraft. Um, it's been a long time for most of them. Most of the Tier 10s I have not flown since Alpha um, or Beta testing. And uh, so I need to get back in the saddle in these top tiers and and really get a handle on how each of these planes uh, flies and feels at the top of the tree. Um, and in the same time, we may go back, and I haven't kept any of the aircraft along the tech tree, I think except for the 109B, which I had originally when they first put in the daily, so I had a good tier four to run with, although I haven't done much with it. So I'll probably sell that one off, especially now that I have the curve first. But uh, we may rebuy one or two tech tree planes that are of interest or that we want to take another look at. Um, and then we'll also take a look at some Tier 10 combat as well. Don't have any plans right now to finish the bomber or GA lines. Um, just not as much of an interest, but if they're of interest to you, let me know. Uh, the next Tier 10 that we're going to acquire probably over the next couple of days is the XF-90 that you saw here, Land Pigs Flying. And so that's probably the next one we'll do a feature on and kind of chat about a little bit. I'm interested to see how I do with it. Um, I'm not sure. I've, I'm getting used to the Banshee, but the they have XF-90 is just heavy fighter on steroids. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how that plays out with me in the saddle with it. So hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy it. Uh, if you are of school age, whether that's uh, younger or college uh, or even grad school, uh, you're probably out by now enjoying summer, working on different things. So I hope it's a good weekend for you, rake in some sun. Uh, it's pretty relaxing. Have a good time. And uh, drop your comments and your likes and your subscriptions below. And I will catch up with you probably again on Monday or Tuesday. So until then, good luck and good hunting.